Okay, this is a little different for me, a little new. Uh, I don't really have a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm not really too fond of this. I'm not even sure what direction to even go. I have got some, like, gameplay videos. I have some videos that went from my PlayStation 4 directly to YouTube, but unfortunately it went to my main account under my name, not the awesomely aloof, which is where I'd rather them. So I kind of have to download them and then re-upload or something, and I don't feel like doing that. So, But I have a order that I did last month. It was a pre-order. Um, I thought I'll try an unboxing video. They seem to be very popular. I'm sorry for the lighting. This is a webcam video. So, tough. Uh, but, it's from a company called Pop in a Box. Um, I did their, I'm doing their subscription thing, their monthly, monthly subscription. And the first one I got last month was Dr. Harleen Quinzel. That was my surprise. I got it in. I didn't even know what I was going to get. Uh, I, you do make a list of like, not a list, but you, you do say, I want this, I want this. You basically make a wish list of ones you want. And you also make a list of ones you don't want. And you can also add one that is part of your collection already. So that you don't get something you already have and you don't get something you don't want. But you're apparently not necessarily going to get something that's on your wish list because Dr. Hartley Quinzel wasn't on my wish list. <laughs> but it's a good pop because it was, if you're going to get a Harley Quinn related one, you want it from Batman the Animated Series, not from that movie, the Birds of Prey movie. Which I'm sure is a good movie. It's just, I don't like that it's called Birds of Prey, which is why they changed it to Harley Quinn. But sorry, damage is already done. I already cut this box. It just had a cut on the thing. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's open this up. Uh, I ordered two pops after I did the subscription because when you do a subscription, you can get 10% off, which is nice. They're, they're only $10.99, which is about retail, and then you have about $4 shipping, I believe. So it basically makes it about $15 for one. So that's that's with the monthly subscription. I can't wait to see what I'll get next time, which will be about mid-month because I did the order. I don't know when I did the order now. <laughs> I think I did it around halfway through February. It was, it was actually around Valentine's Day, so the 14th. Um, so hopefully I'll get another order dispatched in about nine days and, uh, charge $15 for hopefully a good one. And my understanding, I've, I've watched some other videos, my understanding and knowing is it's not limited to the four inch pops. If you have in your wish list stuff like a movie scene set or a pop ride even that you could get one of those too um but the Harley and Quinn that I got Harley and Quinzel is a pop in a box exclusive it's actually last time I checked it it was worth $18 so I'm pretty okay with it and it's nice to have a Harley Quinn I already have a an existing Harley Quinn I have one that is an earlier one it was Harley Quinn number 34 DC Universe one, so it's not from any movie or TV show or anything. It's basically a comic book Harley Quinn. And, uh, I don't really like getting the same character twice. I, I, I got a second Captain America once, because uh, it was free with cereal. I kept the Iron Man, and I gave my sister the Captain America, because I'm like, I already got a Captain America, and I kept the good Captain America. I kept this one from the first Avengers movie a vaulted one that's worth a little more. <laughs> it was an impulse buy at Walgreens. Who would have thunk? But, uh, yeah, I kind of been... I've, I've gotten pops since 2011. The first one was a gift. It was a Green Lantern, DC Universe Green Lantern, not the movie or anything like that. So comic book Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, specifically. Uh, number nine. And that was the first one I ever got. And I... I know I got it probably around 2011 then, because uh, the Captain America Avengers movie I got 2012. 
probably not too long after the movie came out. I don't know how much longer after, but I don't think it was too long after. But I didn't really get another one until the end of 2014 when Guardians of the Galaxy came out, and then the pops were released for that later in the year, and specifically Dancing Group. But that being said, after getting the subscription for Pop in a Box, I did order two pre orders. Uh, one, I. I gotta try to figure out how in the world I can be like, ask someone whether or not they would want it without saying, do you like this person enough that you would want a pop for it? Um, he's got a birthday coming up and I might just give it to him and see what he's, if he doesn't like it, I'll be like, oh, I'll just keep it for myself because I won't mind. Uh, I'm not really a sports fan. There's only maybe a few people that I would be okay with. I'm feeling in here. They're not in sorters. So, they're not in anything. They're just in the box. So, I'm just gonna... Let's go ahead and show it. Okay, yeah. They're not in anything. They're not in any kind of protection. But these are the two that I ordered last month. They came in. We got a Michael Jordan. UNC in the away jacket. Oh, sorry. And you have the Chubbs from Happy Gilmore. This has a Chase variant. Sadly, this isn't the Chase. I had a 1 in 6 chance of a Chase, and I didn't get the Chase. And I really wanted the Chase, because this, I really wanted. I'm ready to get it out nice and easy. There's something else in here. There's a card gift card for Hello Fresh. $80 gift card. You get $30 off your first two deliveries. How expensive is this service that it has a $30 off? It's just something. When you see something like that big of a discount, that lets you know that it's also pretty steep to begin with. But this Chubbs yeah, you've got the wooden hand. The chase variant is where the, some of the fingers are missing. So it's kind of cool. I, I like that. I really wanted that one. I didn't get it. But these are the other ones that are available. And I definitely am going to try to get this one. I do have this in my list of wants or likes. Because I also subscribe to Shumi. And I wanted to kind of... I guess I kind of wanted to increase my possible chance of getting some of the ones I want that I wasn't going to go ahead and buy straight out. But, uh, I don't think I'm doing Happy Gilmore himself. I might. Because there's also Billy Madison ones that are out. And there's one in which he's in the tub where he's talking. You know, he's fighting with the shampoo and the conditioner. Shampoo's better, conditioner's better. That's great. Uh, this is just nostalgia. Because this is 90s. I'm, I'm a kid of the 90s. Uh, so this is just nostalgia. I'm going to get a little microfiber cloth. Um, but yeah, there's this. And uh, I'm just going to keep them in the box because I don't have uh, protectors. kind of used them all. And this is the Michael Jordan. Which I wouldn't mind keeping. Um, made this year, 2020. It's got the official collegiate product, which is good. That it has a sticker, that it's a, an official licensed collegiate product. UNC. I don't care about UNC. But I remember Michael Jordan as a kid. I had Michael Jordan basketball training cards. So I am totally okay if he doesn't want those. Which I think he does. He's a UNC fan anyway. Um, so I, I, I think it's most, of, most of it is football. Uh, most of the people I know in my life that watch any kind of collegiate sports, it tends to be football. Although, I do remember we used to follow basketball in the 90s. I don't know what happened. Uh, 
I don't know if it's our team. I think change cities. I think that's part of it. I don't know. I don't really follow sports. But, um... I'm actually okay with the Michael Jordan one if he doesn't want it. But if he wants it, I'm okay with him having it. And I'm, I'm going to make sure to get some really good pot protectors for that one. Uh, I really might even get a hard stack for it. I don't, it's not worth anything now, but it is Michael Jordan. It's an officially licensed product. And I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'd be too crazy to do a hard stack just yet. Uh, but I definitely, I, I, I have some pop protectors coming in from seven bucks a pop. I got a, a thing of 50 coming in. I've already previously got a thing of 50. I went through them all. So that lets you know, I already have, I have over 50 pops. I, I have some that don't have any protectors on them. I had to give, I gave four of them to my sister because she has four. Uh, including a rocket and dancing group like I have. Because I, when I pre-ordered the Dancing Groot, I pre-ordered two. One for me, one for her. The Rocket, I had previously got, and someone gave me one as a gift. So I was like, I already have this. And just let her have that instead. Because <laughs> I'm like, you can have it. Uh, and... Oh, what was the other one? She has a Age of Ultron Captain America, because I kept... The Iron Man and gave her the Captain America because I have a Captain America from the first Avengers film and she has an Elsa Frozen yeah I might be getting more getting her more of these because I think this year is the year in which when it comes to gifts if people are going to get gifts from me my family is going to get gifts from me they're going to be pops I just don't know where to get my stepmom that was my phone um I don't really know what she likes <laughs> So, there's that. This has already been 12 minutes, so I think it'll be a good time to end. I will try to see if I can find someone who may want this gift card. Because <laughs> um, it's enjoy a home-cooked meal and get cooking in three easy steps. You choose from 21 recipes. You get your box full of fresh ingredients. And you enjoy cooking. There's a problem. I don't enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. I don't enjoy cooking. Enjoy cooking without the fuss. I've, I've had the, the less stressful cooking, and I still don't like it. <laughs> I, I do not like cooking. So, I'll find something for that. And uh, that would be it. I do have a... Like I said, I do have a Shumi. One that I also started just a few days ago. Uh, as far as I know, there hasn't been a ship. The way these subscription box works is they do choose from, you know, your wants or your likes and, and work from that so that you don't get something that you already have and you don't get something that you don't want. Um, I have some pre-orders from Shumi, but I don't think they're coming in this month. I, I don't think there's... I don't think any of them are available until the, at early... Sorry. At earliest April, but they don't ship until all of them are available, and I think I had one that was set for May. So that's gonna be a while. I did pre order Romy and Michelle. I did that really quick as soon as that was announced. I was like, I'm getting Romy and Michelle. It's gonna go great with my Bill and Ted. Uh, and so, yeah. But I have. A mystery box from a company called Poptopia that is preparing for shipment. It hasn't shipped yet, as far as I know. That is two pops. I have no idea what's in them. I could get something I don't like. I can get two things I don't like. They do give you. They do show you a picture uh, up front. And this is the first time I've ever done it. I've seen these on videos. There's YouTube videos of people who open mystery boxes from some of these companies. This is a $25 one, so I was like, if I'm going to try it, I'm going to try it with the $25 one. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to do one of those $100 toy USAs. No, that's just it's too risky for me. $25 is risky for me. 
based on the picture, you get you're guaranteed one from those, and that includes there was about two or three of the Chubbs Chase variant. It would be nice if I could get that because I was really hoping that I would get it today, but I was not one of the lucky ones in a one in six chance of getting it. So probably because you've had people, you know why these don't exist, why it's hard to get a chase? Because you've had people who order a whole bunch of them and they take them all. They stop taking them all. I want, I want to have fair chance at getting them. But that's it. Okay. 15 minutes. Almost 16 minute video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Um, and I may do at least the mystery box. And hope for something good. Hope for something I like. There's also... There are several other properties in there that I like. The worst that I could get would be the fact that there are a lot of Dragon Ball Aziz... And any of those things, I don't care for those. Um, so I will probably have to look for selling those. Those would be ones I want to keep. And selling, these are, either I have boxes, I have boxes to ship them in. I have a box I can ship it in. If I end up getting two I don't like, I got a box. I have a box. But the, uh, if it's something that's worth has some amount of value. It could be okay shipping and, and, and selling on eBay, but some of the other ones, like a common, wouldn't be worth it because the shipping would be just as much as how much the stinking item is. It almost would be worth just being like, I'm just going to throw this in with it. <laughs> you do what you want. Oh, I can find people who may like it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, that'll be all, and I am going to stop this now.